Hey, what's going on, my friends? My name is MJ and welcome back to another episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii for the Nintendo Wii. We're all up last time, we did World 5, it was a forest world, and now in this part we're gonna be doing a canyon theme world that is World 6. Um, could call like a rock theme world a canyon. Um, uh, the point is, is, well, the, these, the, the, this theme is back from the first game. And, um,. Well, this uh, type of oh wow, those are those are two things that I did not know were there. Um, out of all the several playthroughs of, of playing this game, I did not know you can get a one up or an ice bar out of that. That's crazy. Um, but um, but yeah. So um, oh shoot, that was that was a little close right there. A little too close uh, for my uh, comfort level here. Uh, okay, all right. So, um, in, uh, World 6, or at least in this level right here, we have, um, lots of bullet bills, and then we have these, um, slopes that you, uh, sidle on, and then these, uh, little, and then these rock ladders that, uh, you climb very slowly on. Um, so, uh, oh man, right. let me, uh, let me just go. Grab that star coin, thank you very much. Alright, let's go ahead and dodge those bullet bills and then we got we got some we got red coin challenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so then grab the one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Alright, that was kinda crazy. Alright, there's a No! I was gonna say there's some crazy stuff like that I could have done, but uh, I'm not about that life right now. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh, come on, I wasn't paying attention. No! Oh! Oh! Oh, hold on! Um, I might die, and that's not good. Um, I need to kind of take a slow- Okay, so I actually need a bullet bill on screen, so I know. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright, we got we got at least a bullet bill. So we gotta do this! One, two, okay, they were very nice. Alright, if I kept my pellet suit, then... Everything would have been fine, but that was a little scary. But we managed to pull through. Somehow. Somehow somehow we managed to survive all that, even though the towards the end of the level was very disastrous. My goodness. Alright. Okay, so let's see, we got 6'2, six 6'3, six or at least I think that's 6'4. Alright, uh, I'm actually gonna equip a penguin suit for this one. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, so I guess either way I would have uh, probably abandoned my pillow suit anyway. But uh, getting that third core wood was easier with the uh, pillow suit. If uh, if you don't want to use those bullet bills, it would be a pain in the butt. Man, as you probably saw the way that the way the ending was for that would have been insanity, absolute absolute insanity. Okay, so we got the spines that come out from the ceiling. And, um, let's be careful. They will... <clears throat> They're not nice, that's for sure. Okay, so you're supposed to use a spiny shell, but with Penguins, you can just dive into the block right there. So, um, whether or not that you consider that a, a sequence break is... Well, I don't know. Okay. And if you dive there, you can get yourself a coin. Or at least a bunch of coins. And then, right here is a one up. They just give you lots of lives, even after uh, getting to the point where uh, the, where you probably would have 99 at this point. Alright. Alright, get out of here. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Wait, what the heck? Did y'all see that? I clipped right through the block. I think I think that's uh I think that's cheating. I think I just cheated the game. That uh I clipped through a block and uh it was bad. Okay, get out of here. No one lacks you. Ooh, a floating block. And nothing more swoopers. That's what they're called. Oh god. I wonder why this gave me a bunch of coins. Oh, it's because it's a pipe. 
Of course. You gotta wait for a long time for that. And then... Ooh! Oh! Out of here! Okay. Grab that coin and we're out of here! That was a lot of spinies, that's for sure. Alright. Ooh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Get rid of that guy. Alright. Woo! Okay, so now we got Sledge Bros. And, uh, oh, I missed them! I missed them! Get out of here! Okay. So Sledge Bros will... when They, they will stop on the ground. And uh, when you're on the ground, when they stop, then you get stunned. And that's bad. Unfortunately, we didn't run into that issue, and there we go. So, did that level no problemo. And now, onwards to the next one. And the next one is going to be... 6-4. Alright, so then that means I like to go in numerical order, even though this seems a little arbitrary, but we're going to do this. Time to do 6-3. And this is actually a pretty good level for the penguin suit. And you'll see why. Alright. So you can actually head over here and uh, kind of... You're supposed to like... There's a switch that you use to... Um, raise the water up. Oh! Oh my gosh! I barely escaped that. Okay, you know... You know oh my god! Okay. You know what? You can live for now. Ha! Yes! I defeated you! And that's that's how you deal with that guy. That's how you deal with those beetles. For the most part. These buzzy beetles are everywhere. So. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a fire flower. Whoa! Lots of raining buzzy beetles! Okay, get out of here. Alright. Oh, I, I, it would help if I got out of the water. Oh, I got a plan. Ha! Get out of here. You don't need to defeat that guy, but... I mean, if you prefer to do that, then that's an option. So you can grab the star coin, and then you can also head over here. Hit this uh, power up block. Gives you a fire flower, and then you can head on back down. Alright, so now... Oh, thank you. You are very nice. I... Oh, ooh, okay. Get out of here! Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, you know what? Ugh. Okay, okay. Alright. Fire flower, but then you raise the water. Ugh. No, bro! Unfair. Unfair. This game's hacks. I call so much hacks on that. Whoa. Oh! Dodge all those prop plans just like a pro! And we did it. Okay, and so this is gonna take us to the tower. But if you really want to deal with that, you gotta you gotta uh, deal with that that bolt bill, and uh, I'm I'm not about that life, so I'm gonna just go the other way and do six dash four instead. And six dash four is better than uh, dealing with the with that cannon, even though it's one extra level. Ooh, a propeller suit, I love it. Life is good. Life is looking upon me uh, for uh, with that propeller suit and Yoshi. Man, life is looking so good. Ooh. Thank you very much. I don't know why the coin- I don't know why the formation of coins was, was, was like, in a line facing straight up, but... That's, uh, that's one thing right there. Okay, blue, blue coin switch. Where's it gonna lead us to? Oh, well, I missed a bunch of coins, that's okay. Uh, oh, what up? Wow. Very nice. Okay, so in this level we have Monty Moles. Man, these Monty Moles, they're relentless. They go everywhere. I don't like Monty Moles. Ooh, what's that down there? Hold on. Oh, uh, 
Oh, oh, okay. I didn't think I actually made it. I thought I like barely missed, and I was ready. To, I was ready for it in case I barely missed it. But that's uh, but nope. Okay, there we go. All right. I don't. I don't know what how, how what the normal approach with this is. Hold on, is there even a normal approach? Okay, I guess it's just to use Yoshi's. Um, like, pop up Yoshi, like, uh, any maniac would do, the, all the Yoshi haters would totally do that, which makes me infuriated that people would do such a thing to Yoshi. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight! And then another Yoshi right there, if you get to get this part without Yoshi. And then, oh, this, this pains me to do this, but I'm sorry, Yoshi! Oh my gosh, we lose Yoshi just for a stark one in the process. This game is cruel. What a cruel game. And then it's even more cruel when the game doesn't even let you carry Yoshi after this level. After any level with Yoshi, that, that is. Like, how much easier... Could this game get any easier if you're allowed to carry Yoshi to another level? It's not fair. Yeah. Alright, but all our effort will take us to the tower. So we took both paths, they both led us to the tower, and it is now taking time to take on the tower. <laughs> All right, this level is crazy because we got this giant skewer and the whole time it's gonna be drilling up and it's really mean. You can actually just barely go on like one pixel, like one tile on the left and right sides um, and it's very precise and it can, you can easily get hit if you're not careful. So uh, there was an ice flower, another ice flower. That's two power ups right there. Okay, let's continue climbing. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, hold. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, I cannot believe I, that that actually worked. I wasn't even gonna try that because I, I didn't want to lose my propeller suit. But man, when in doubt, just uh, trust your instincts. Okay. All right, we gotta keep going up. Oh my God, I put my hand I put my hand off the controller for a moment. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Could have been bad. I thought there was like a hit and something hidden there, but no. Oh, hold on. Okay, let's get the checkpoint and then uh, I'm gonna try to. Okay, that works. Alright, let's see. I think this block this blocks power up, so I'm gonna. Okay, wait. Oh, I'm gonna fail this red coin challenge. Yeah, we're failing this. Yeah. Uh, so these pipes are pipe cannons that'll take you up to the next part. Uh, but uh, I have a pillar suit, so I'm just, I'm just gonna skip using the pipe cannons instead. Um, mainly because they take so long, especially when you're, 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 you have to constantly worry about the cycles of uh, the sewers. And then that block right there is a power block if you need if you need power ups going into the boss. <laughs> All right, here we go. Morton. Uh, the way Morton works is kind of the same as Roy Koopa. When he jumps, he'll stun the ground. Um, and uh, make sure you jump while he jumps. That way you don't get stunned. Boom! Easy. Easy stuff. So, yeah, that was a tower. Very crazy level. But we managed to pull through with that. Alright, and now, he's going to head over to the castle, just like every other Koopling does. And we just have a few more levels. It's only the, the halfway point of uh, World 6. So we have a Toad House, which we don't, I'm not going to worry about. And Toad's going to get captured like usual. Don't care about that. So he's going to move on straight to the next level, 6-5. And in 6-5, we have a Porky Puffer, not our best friend. I 
despise the Porky Puffer. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Those blocks contain stuff, but uh, I don't know, have to worry about that. That's a one up. Okay. And that's a. Uh, oh! That was close. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! The uh, the pro dodging skills. Oh my God! Oh my God! I cannot believe what, what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing is absolute madness. Holy moly! All right. Once again, you can hit those blocks if you like. I'm not to worry about it. Especially when I have to worry about Gorky Puffer uh, trying to ruin my day. Ah! Okay. Try not to get hit. I don't want to get hit. Getting hit is, it would be a very sad thing. Okay. Right. Multiple coins right there. And then, uh... Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Wait, actually, no. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to keep going. I, I, I don't care. I don't care! Oh! 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 Okay. Hidden vine block. My god. Alright. And then, uh, you can use that pillar block if you'd like. Um, and, uh, well, the purpose of the pillow block is so you can get the star point right there. And there we go! Secret exit! Which means I gotta do this level again, getting the normal exit. And also try not to get destroyed by that pork bumper. That would not be very nice. Yep. And so that secret exit will actually give us a shortcut straight to the castle. I can't believe it. We're already gonna take shortcuts, but then you skip that level. Okay, we're back. Uh, it didn't take me long to get back to where I left off, because all I had to do was, go, was just uh, go really fast. Okay, more power ups right there, but all we gotta do is just keep going, um, and oh, just narrowly dodge the Porky Puffer, because my god, that's a very annoying enemy. And we did it. And with that, we have finished the level. Yeah. All right, and so the path will take us to uh, six dash six. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, okay, no, yeah, I don't need to equip anything. Okay, slide on down. And then, here we go. Alright, so in this level, we have to ride this boat throughout basically the whole level. You technically don't have to if you know the level really well, but it's also very dangerous because also in the water, we have, um, what is it? We have, there are cheap cheeps in the water. And the cheap cheeps will definitely get in your way. So, not fun. You use that pal block, or you, or you can just fly up to the, uh, the coin. Alright. So, we gotta go ahead and avoid this properly. I see, look at that, there are cheap cheeps in here. So, yeah. In theory, you can skip this if you know how to dodge those cheap cheeps really well. It can't possibly be me. whole room will light up, and then in theory, it's safe for you to try to do the skips, but uh, I ain't pro enough. I'm not pro enough. I may be good, but I'm not that good. Right. Let's see what we got going on here. A checkpoint! Yes! Yes, baby! Okay. Just gotta keep going. Keep on going. Two springs. In case you lose that one spring that I have kept all the way through. We got swooper. Out of here. Okay, we got firefly and an ice flower, and then a star coin, which you can use a spring for. Or if you, or if you're me, who has successfully kept my color suit, then nothing to worry about. Oh, a switch. I did not- I, I didn't even see that. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just playing messing around. I mean, what can you do when, like, you're just riding a moat throughout the whole level? Oh, what's that up there? What I see. Alright, let's go and make our way up over here. And then grab that coin. And then now we just gotta beat the rest of the level. Just dodge all that mess. We got fire bros now. Get out of here! Alright, then. Into this pipe. And then now we get to this part. This part's a little scary because this part right here, there are lots of swoopers. Okay, dodge all them. The light, the light block can kind of protect you, uh, but it can all, but it doesn't protect you from losing your power up. And we did it. All right. Um, also, hit this block, hit the switch, and this is how you're gonna get to the top of the flagpole. But I can just fly up there. And there we go. So that's a secret exit. So now, in order to get to a normal exit. Um, we just gotta ride the moat all the way through the whole level, which is very unfun. So, you know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna do a Nintendo develop developer intended strategy, and that is using the mini mushroom. Nintendo knows about this, so don't think, don't say this is cheating, because Nintendo knows about this. If you watch those hit movies in Peach's Castle, you know that you you know that they do this strategy, which means Nintendo knows about this, because you can just use the mini mushroom and run across the water the whole time. Do not, don't you dare press the jump button at all. Do not slow down, otherwise bad stuff will happen. Just hold right and run and hope that you're okay. And like I said, Nintendo knows about this. So, I don't want to hear any debates about uh, me cheating in this level. But this is how, this is one way of doing this level right here. As soon as you get to see these fire bros right here, then you're basically just towards the end of the level. And then at a certain point, yes! And then we just make our way to the end of the level. Just like that. Look how fast that was. So much faster than using the um than using the moat and uh, suffer for like two minutes. Like that that method was unfun. Alright, and then with that. That's going to take us to the, the normal path to the castle. Alright, um, so I could just take that path, but I'm going to take take this path. That way I can guarantee a safe path uh, without having to worry about those bulbs. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and re equip my propeller suit because I do not want to use my mini shirt for this level. Here we go. All right, so uh, yeah, um, what can I say about this level? This level has these uh, cool like boat things that like sway back and forth, and uh, along with like uh, potaboos. Make that! Oh my gosh! These are some very tight jumps. All right, you can make your way over here. And uh, actually, hold on. I think nah, it's too late, right? It's too late? No, it's not too late. Wait, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll grab it. Why not? Okay, I'm gonna use this dry bones. So unfortunately, this means I'm not gonna be doing some cool tricks that this will be, that this will be, that you can do. Uh, you have the pillow suit. That's okay. Oh, what? How? Okay, this block has a one up. So, like, if you throw good enough, then you can actually, um, get a one up out of that block. But somehow that didn't work. Right, I'm not gonna bother hitting any of those blocks. Uh, uh, oh! Yes, we made that. That was that was full of crazy stuff. Oh, okay. All right, right here, the star block. I will I will pick it up. And sometimes uh, those uh, 
walls coming down will actually break the star block before it's, it spawns when you reveal it. Um, which really sucks. But, um, fortunately I got... Oh, lucky enough. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Right, grab that star coin. And then, in this block right here, we got a fire flower! And now we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, take on the boss. Here we go. Doing, doing pretty well. So far, so good. With, um, surviving some of these tougher levels. Because this is definitely the point where the game gets pretty hard. Alright, so Kamek is going to power up the, the room. And now, guess what? These are some very fragile pillars. And uh, when Morton pounds the ground, then the pillars in front and behind him will raise up and, well, it's game over if you happen to be standing on those pillars at uh, just the wrong time. But, no matters. Easy fight as usual. When am I gonna get a hard boss fight in this game? Like, come on, game. Like, where is it? I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the day where New Super Mario Bros. Wii challenges me with a very hard fight. But it's not it's not there yet. Oh. Oh. Oh! Bowser Jr., the ship just left you again! What you gonna do about that? And uh, just like World 4, we're not done yet. Because look at that! We got ourselves an airship. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, why did I do that? No! That was not what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to do this. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I can get the star back any other day. Alright, so there's actually a reason why I equipped the propeller suit. I want to show off something really cool that you can do with the propeller suit in this level. Um, maybe not very many people know this, um, but I promise you, it's a cool strat. So, that means that any power up that you get in this level, you want to skip it. You want to skip a random power. So we have these, um, wrench-throwing guys. I think they're called Rocky Wrenchers. And they throw wrenches at us. It's not nice. So just get rid of them, like this. Uh-oh! That was a little scary. Right. Boom. Break those crates. Grab that first one. When you're small, you can only break one crate at a time. Instead of like in a row, like what I did there. Right. And then um, you can head inside this pipe, which I'm gonna do. And then guess what? Even this little sub area has an auto scroller. It's so boring. <sighs> Someone give me a paper so I can back and read while I'm traversing through this auto scroller. It's so unexciting. How about nine to that fight? And now, you're halfway through. You're halfway through this mess of the level. Dodge that wrench. And we have wrench punch on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Okay. There's a lot of. There's a Mecha Koopa. Here. Oh, I jumped on the Mecha Koopa! Right, and then you can head down over here, grab on those crates, so you can head down to the bottom and grab yourself your third star coin. Kill that Rocky Wrencher, I hate that enemy. And now we're gonna get lots and lots of coins. You know, when you ground pound on, on the coin block, you get five more coins. And in the original game, you used to be lush. Just some lush. Whoa, buddy. That was a little disrespectful of you. Whoa. Whoa. Who's throwing wrenches at me? I can't see you on the screen. Like, show yourself, man. 
You at least show your face. It's more respectful when you show your face to the public. <laughs> All right, head on down. And I managed to successfully keep my Prello suit. So guess what? Here, here's what we're gonna do. All right, so normally this is like a clown car battle, but uh, one, two. Three! Don't even have to use the clown car. Which is kind of sad because I actually like the normal fight. Um, where you just bat, like, bumping into each other. It's, re it's really fun. But, unfortunately, we have to... Uh, uh, that's, not, that's not the case right here. I mean, I could just do it, but I want to show that off. Because I'm sure when you're just playing through the game, you'd easily figure out that you can use a clown car. Or at least you're supposed to use a clown car. Alright, so you're on World 7, and this is my least favorite world in the game. I'm not looking forward to this. I think I I think this is the hardest world in the game. So, like, we've been doing... We, we've been, I've been making some of these levels look kind of easy, but... I don't expect this to be easy. Um, I'm just expecting a few deaths here and there. So... With that being said, that is going to be it for this episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And next time, we're going to be doing World 7. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.